Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Out YouTube channel and I am back with another Inspired Saturdays collaboration. I hope you'll stick around, see who inspired me this week, and then find out how you can go see how I inspired her. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. It is Saturday, which means it's time for another Inspired Saturdays collaboration. I try to stop by on every Saturday and team up with another crafty YouTuber to bring you a pair of inspiring videos. Now if this is your first time seeing an Inspired Saturdays collaboration, I hope that you'll check out the playlist for past videos, they are linked in the description box below, and if you're a crafty YouTuber who would like to join me, I am taking applications for 2021. I will have the video linked below that gives all the details on how you can do that. Today I am teaming up with Katie of Eastwick's Paper and Ink and I will be sharing a project here on my channel and then when you're done here make sure to go see what she has created today. Her video link will be at the top of the description box below. Once again it was hard for me to narrow down the list of cards I wanted to take inspiration from but I did it and up on screen now is the project that I'm inspired by today. I just loved the bold colors on that panel on the left paired up with that gold embossing. Now before I watched the process video, which by the way I will have the Instagram picture and the process video linked in the description box below so you can go check those out. But before I watched that video, I originally thought that that colored piece was made with alcohol inks. That was something Katie actually created. She made her own Nouveau Shimmer Powders which I have been wanting to try those out. So I went and saw her tutorial and I hope too soon to order the products and give that a try myself. So I will also link that the shimmer powder video in the description box below as well. You probably know that I like to keep things short and sweet and clean and simple here on my channel. And since I don't own any alcohol inks anymore and I didn't want to run out and buy any, I have a little shortcut that I'll let you in on here in just a minute and perhaps you can already see that. Before I do get started on that process, I'll share with you what I'm going to use and then when I do get into the process, I will go to a voiceover. If I leave you with any questions, make sure to leave those in the comment section below. For today, I will be using this Pretty Pink Posh stamp set. It is Thoughtful Greetings. I just love the sentiments in this and there's a big variety. And I plan on making a few cards today, so I thought I would switch those up. I will of course, just like Katie, be stamping and embossing with gold embossing powder. And then for my alcohol ink background, I'm actually going to use this Hot Buy Pad from Michaels. I bought this a few months ago because you know all those beautiful alcohol ink pieces were calling to me, but I didn't want to go out and invest in all the colors and the special paper you needed and I thought this would give the same look. So for today, I chose this piece from the paper pad. I liked how it had a few different colors in it and I thought it would make a neat looking card. Let's get crafty! Besides that piece of pattern paper, I got out two pieces of white cardstock, four pieces of black cardstock, and then a piece of gold foiled paper. I started by cutting my pieces of white cardstock into eight total pieces that were five inches tall by three and three quarters inches wide. These will end up going on the inside of the card, so when I write my personal message, the recipient will be able to see it since it would be pretty much impossible to see any color ink on that black cardstock. Once those were all cut, 
I brought in my black cardstock and I cut each piece in half and then I folded it in half for my card base. Now you'll see here I had the ledge or the side of my trimmer help me hold my cardstock in place while I did the folding. This usually just helps me get a nice even fold on my cards. Next, I brought in my piece of gold foil paper and I cut this until I had eight pieces that were two inches wide by five and a half inches tall. I do cut this upside down just because it kind of messes with the coloring and the lights in the video. And then finally for the cutting, I brought in the piece of pattern paper. I cut this into eight pieces that were five and a half inches tall by one and three quarters inches wide. Now I could have gotten more pieces out of this pattern paper, but because my gold foil paper only yielded eight pieces, I just stopped at eight of the pattern papers as well. Once all of those pieces were cut, I could then start putting the cards together. I started by matting each of my pattern paper pieces with the gold cardstock, and you'll just see that it just gives a nice border on the left and right. I just love that shine. After those were all matted, I added adhesive to the back of that pattern paper strip, and these got placed on the card front. I placed it pretty far to the left, leaving about an eighth of an inch between the corner of the card or the edge and where that gold piece started. I did this to all eight cards before I moved on to the stamping. Now normally I would stamp first and then put the cards together, but because I need to know how much room I have on that right side of the card front, I decided to go ahead and do this part first. The first sentiment I chose reads, we may be miles apart, but you are always close to my heart. I think that's perfect now when we can't always get together with family and friends. I will be using my Misty to do the stamping today because some of these sentiments I will be stamping and embossing more than once. Once I had that first sentiment in place, I picked it up with the door of my Misty, used my embossing buddy on that cardstock, and then inked it up and stamped it. Then I brought in that gold embossing powder, poured that over the front of the card, making sure the sentiment looked like it was nice and crisp, and then I brought in my heat tool to heat set that powder. When I heat emboss, I usually warm up my heat tool off camera for about 30 seconds. Then when I bring it onto the card, I do come to the back of the piece that I am embossing. I think this helps that when you do bring it to the front to finish that powder melting, that it helps a little bit with the warping of the card stock. For the next card, I switched out the sentiments, and for this one I chose Sending Happy Thoughts Your Way. I think I end up stamping this one a couple times, as well as some others from the set. I continued the same process until I had eight cards finished. All that was left to do now was get those white cardstock pieces added to the inside so I had a spot for my personal message. I just added adhesive to the back of these and then centered it on the inside of the card. And here's a look at the finished cards. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I was inspired by Katie today. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Now don't forget to go check out her video. It is linked at the top of that description box. Until my next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.